Tegucigalpa, Honduras, Honduras ruling party conceded defeat Tuesday in presidential elections held two days earlier, giving victory to leftist opposition candidate Heomar Castro and easing fears of another contested vote and violent protests. Tegucigalpa Mayor Nazarius Fura of the National Party said in a statement that he had personally congratulated Castro, despite only about half the voting tallies being counted from Sunday's election. Castro had 53% of the votes and is for a 34%, with 52% of the tallies counted, according to the National Electoral Council. The council has 30 days from the election to declare a winner. Asfura said he had met with Castro and her family. Now I want to say it publicly, the conservative candidate said. that I congratulate her for her victory and as president-elect, I hope that God illuminates and guides her so that her administration does the best for the benefit of all of us Hondurans, to achieve development and the desires for democracy. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken congratulated Castro minutes later. The United States congratulates the people of Honduras on their election and Neomara Castro on her historic victory as Honduras' first female president, Blinken said in a statement. We look forward to working with the next government of Honduras. We congratulate Hondurans for the high voter turnout, peaceful participation, and active civil society engagement that marked this election, signaling an enduring commitment to the democratic process. Asfura's recognition of the outcome was a relief to many Hondurans who had feared a contested election. Castro rode a wave of popular discontent with 12 years of National Party governance, which peaked in the second term of outgoing President Juan Orlando Hernandez. Expectations of a Castro victory drove thousands into the streets of Tegucigalpa Sunday in celebration. On Monday, the capital streets were quiet as if it were a holiday and on Tuesday Hondurans exhaled in relief that the election had not taken a violent turn. But Castro will face major challenges. Unemployment is above 10%. Northern Honduras was devastated by two major hurricanes last year and street gangs dragged down the economy with their extortion rackets and violence.